Roar! Roar! Hey gang, how y'all doing? Hey, I want to give a quick shout out to my man Alvin. He's a nine-year-old boy in Finland who has Tourette's, or T-Rex. So he asked me a question I thought I'd share. Uh, he said, uh, you said you have Tourette's too, but you don't seem to tick. My mom says that sometimes the ticks disappear when you grow up. Is, is that what happened to you? And when? He says, right now my Tourette's is really sucky because I tick a lot. Rawr from T-Rex Albin in Finland. Albin, thank you for your question. The reason you don't see me tick is because as, I, as I've gotten older, uh, I've been able to control them a lot more. I deal, deal, do still tick though, and uh, I, I can even pick them out in these videos. In fact, <laughs> probably right now having a few. But uh, I'm just able to mask them pretty good. So as you get older, eh, you'll most likely be able to do the same. So don't let your ticks get you down. And remember, they're a part of what makes you an individual and an awesome person. So a big roar and a fist bump to our friend Alvin. I hope everything is going well for everyone and you're doing well in school. That's important. You know, I, I love spending time in school. It's a lot of fun. You know, you get to spend a lot of time with your friends and you learn about all kinds of stuff. Uh, what's your favorite subject? Mine was math and history. Uh, numbers always fascinated me. And it was easy for me to learn all the basics like adding and subtracting and multiplication and division. Uh, did you know that when you multiply uh, nine by anything that you can add the two numbers together and they equal nine? Like 18, 27, 36, and on down the line. That's that's pretty neat and an easy way to learn your nine in the uh, times tables. So I have some tricks for other numbers too, but eh, that's not what we're here for. So Terry told me something he goes through at school that uh, you might also be experiencing. So let's see what he has to share and hey, maybe it'll help you as well. So mom and dad, you know what time it is. So you guys go ahead and go take care of that grown up stuff. And you know, we, that way we can have our T-Rex meeting. So we'll see you guys again soon. Terry has another friend, we'll say, who likes to annoy him at school. You know, he, he isn't one of the other students like his normal friends. He's more like a pet that uh, lives in Terry's desk. And Terry figured he'd name him Danny. That's, that's a pretty good name for him. Now, Danny is a miniature stegosaurus. And this is the dinosaur that has spikes on his body and also spikes in his tail that he uses as a weapon. And... You know, the spikes on his body are there for defense, so other dinosaurs have a hard time getting him. Uh, Danny is very possessive of anything that Terry tries to use to write. He hoards all of, his, of Terry's pens and pencils uh, inside the desk where he lives. As soon as Terry grabs a pencil to start writing his schoolwork, Danny charges out and tries to take the pencil back. He swings his tail <laughs> at Terry's hand to try and get him to let go. Terry has to rush while he writes so that Danny doesn't hit his hand. And sometimes Danny will also rub against Terry's hand with his spiky body. And this makes Terry's hands hurt. So with Danny always bugging Terry and trying to hurt him, uh, Terry's writing really looks sloppy at times and hard to read. And Terry's teachers don't understand because every time they look at Terry, Danny takes off and hides. Now he's, he's a pretty sneaky little guy. So Terry tries to do his work on his computer, but Danny doesn't like the sound the keyboard makes when Terry is typing. So he runs out and he stands by the keyboard 
and Danny waits for Terry to start typing. Then he swings his tail at Terry's fingers while he types. And this causes Terry to try to hurry, just like when he's writing. But it only makes him take longer because Terry hits the wrong keys and he ends up having to redo his work. And no one likes redoing their work. Terry gets very frustrated with Danny and doesn't like writing or typing at all. He doesn't like getting hurt every time that he writes or types. Uh, this makes Terry frustrated and even angry at times. So when it hurts to write, you know, we try to avoid it. Our handwriting can appear very sloppy as we rush to get it done. And it also causes problems uh, when we try to type and we end up hitting the wrong keys. This problem with writing is called dysgraphia. Your parents are working with the doctors to find a way to make it easier for you to write. So keep on practicing and be patient, okay? And take advantage of the days that Danny is asleep in your desk and he doesn't come out to bug you. Dysgraphia is another comorbid that's less common than a OCD or ADHD. That's why Ozzy and Andy weren't here today. Uh, they're each in different classes that help them with some of their issues. By identifying and learning about different things, we can figure out ways of treating them and making them better. Your mom and dad, believe me, they're continuing to work with the doctors as they see different things that might be affecting you. They really want to help you because they love you a whole bunch and they want to see you do well and be happy. If you have anything that's bothering you, always go to them and tell them so that they can talk to the doctor about it. And remember, if you have a question for me or Terry, ask your mom and dad to send me a message and I'll do my best to find the answer. And I'll do like I did with Albin, and I might even post it here. So, now go tell your mom and dad that we're done, and thank them for letting you watch and learn about Terry and his T-Rex syndrome and all of his friends. Remember to give your mom and dad a big hug and tell them that you love them. Now, give me a fist bump. Bang! And we'll see you guys again soon. Later, tater!